How's it going boys and girls? Today I'm going to be talking about a new reptile we got and one that I've never gotten a new one in 11 years or so? A very long time. The video is going to be a little bit of a bittersweet one. There's some sad stuff to talk about and then some good stuff to talk about. And as always, as we are pessimists over here on our channel, uh, we will be talking about the bad stuff first, then getting into the good stuff. And on a high note, you know. As you can see right down here, this large six by two by two enclosure is dark. And that is the sad stuff we're gonna be talking about today. This enclosure has been dark for a few months now. And, uh, oh man, too early to cry. I haven't even started yet. Dark because the inhabitant in it is no longer with us. Uh, Rex, our bearded dragon, passed away this year. Never, never made a video about it mainly because I, I couldn't bring myself to do it. It was heart-wrenching, man. You know, we, as with people that do breeders, you know, you lose babies, you have babies with issues. You, you, when you get this kind of collection, you're producing this number, loss is, inevitabil is, an, is an inevitability. But there's a select few animals in here, and these are animals that I've kept for over 10 years now, or 10 plus years at this point. And that's just, they're not just like another reptile, right? It's not just another crested gecko or another toke morph. They're like family to me. Viv right here, definitely one of them. She's pretty hungry, I'll probably feed her soon. And Rex, well, Rex was the cream of the crop. He was the jewel of this collection because he's the one that started Dakota Blue Exotics. Got Rex back in like 2014 or something, 2013, I don't know. I don't remember. I've had Rex for so long. I was 18 or so, give or take, when I first got him. I, my first trip over to New England Reptiles, my first time being in the New England area, and we picked Rex up. And Rex was a first for a lot of things. He was the first reptile we had. It was the first bioactive enclosure that I made for a reptile. Uh, it's the first video on YouTube right there that was talking about Rex the Bearded Dragon. Uh, he was a lot of first for us. And not to say there weren't mistakes made with him. We're all, we all start out somewhere and Rex was my, Rex was my starting reptiles, the first. So we overcame a lot of problems, you know, a vet visit here and there to get things straightened out but we always kept Rex pushing, man. Three rolls for a bearded dragon, I, I I don't know, maybe that's the average, it depends on where you look. Some say 10 years, some say 15 years. 11's 11 years, you know? I wish it could have been longer. I wish it could have been like 20 years or something, but it was what it was, I guess. Rex will be sorely, sorely missed in this, uh, <clears throat> in the, um, the collection. It, there was a weird, weird time for about the first month just seeing this dark not turning anything on not changing salads not you know nothing going in here nothing in here it was very difficult for me i don't i think there was a couple of days where i just like the first couple of days i just didn't want to be in this room man i i could not stand being down here and seeing that i think for the first like week it was uh it was a jarred like this because this is where i i picked him up when, you know, it was time, and it stayed like that for so long before I, like, even, like, I could get myself to close the fucking door. It was, uh, it was a rough time, man. I don't want to dwell on it. It's, it sucks, but that's, that's the, the, you know, you get a bunch of reptiles, and you live with a bunch of reptiles, and eventually those reptiles have to, have to go one day, and that was the day that Rex went. I would, he would sorely be missed, and honestly, I told myself, I fucking told myself I was not gonna get another bearded dragon. I was like, that's it. I'll never get another bearded dragon. Cause then it's just like, I, never, I don't want to replace Rex. You know, you can't, you can't replace your first reptile. There's just, that feeling isn't there, right? It, it'll never be the same as when you get your very first one. When you learn about this amazing community, this hobby, the world of keeping reptiles and everything in there, all that knowledge coming in when you are a blank slate, you know, get that back. And I told myself, you know, I said, Dakota, no, no more bearded dragons. You know, let's just focus on the business and let's keep on, keep on chugging. Well, that, um, <laughs> I fucking told myself I wasn't gonna get another one of these things. That changed. Real quick guys, before we continue on with today's video, I just wanna talk a little bit about the Patreon page. 
you guys are actually members of the Patreon page, you guys would have known that we got this bearded dragon quite a long time ago. I think it's been like four or six weeks. I just keep procrastinating making a video on it. That's one of the great many perks that we have on Patreon. You guys get to see the first animals we bring in before I show them off to the public, and that has everything to do with, of course, our breeding projects. Whether it be our various new cow projects, the toke morphs that we are coming in and then hatching out, or maybe just want to do our offshoot stuff like the Chinese cave geckos. Over on Patreon, you guys get to see the babies that are hatching first. You guys get to see them when they are available and have the potential to get them before they're available before I even post them on my site or anywhere else. It's a great way to support us and everything we do over here, including all of these nice big enclosures that, well, actually look nice and are nice for the animal. If you guys want to check out our Patreon page or possibly contribute, I very much appreciate it. I'll have a link right down in the description. Thank you guys so much. Let's get back into the video. Uh, well, that's... <laughs> That's because, as you can see right here, this 36 by 18 by 18 Exoterra, there, there's another bearded dragon. I didn't sort this sought. I didn't sort this thing out. All right. It, it, and, and yes, it is getting a bioactive jungle enclosure. Don't worry, that build will be coming soon. Right now, we're just going to keep it sterile. Make sure he's all good to go before we think about, you know, putting in bioactive. Blah blah blah. I suppose some explanation is in order before uh, before we show them off for realsies. Um, so I was going to my pet store right down the road. It's one of those, uh, it's not like a Petco, okay? So I'm not that bad. I'm only a little bad from buying from a pet. So it's a pretty good pet store. I like the place. But um, going to the pet store because I just need one frozen mouse. That ATB, I cannot get that Amazon tree boa to um, eat uh, reptilinks. So I need to go get a little frozen mouse for him. Or yeah, him, her. I need a frozen mouth for the snake so it would actually eat. Here I am going down, and of course, as everyone does when you're at a pet store that has reptiles, you go and check out the reptile selection because it, it, it's just like, I mean, once you own over 10 reptiles, it's a prerequisite. It, it's required. You can't just walk into a store and not check out the reptiles. My God, man, here I was looking in that reptile section, and what do I find? The strangest bearded dragon that I've personally ever seen. Except we have to keep in context that I don't look at bearded dragons very much often and now I am aware about a month later of the fact that this is now like the new trending thing that's being mass produced. So before that, I, I didn't real I didn't, I've never seen a bearded dragon like this before and then like four weeks later I realized this bearded dragon is like everywhere, it's the new thing. For at the time, it was brand new to me. I've never seen anything like this before. I'm like, it's translucent, uh, genetic stripe, pied, and then I started thinking, wait, it, do they have pied bearded dragons? I've never seen this fucking before. I've never seen a pied beardy. What the heck is this thing? Of course, I had to I had to make the guy get it out for me to check it out myself. The pet store. That's when the the pet store employee informed me that this bearded dragon has been here for like five months or something, a couple of months. I don't really remember the the exact timeline. He's been there for quite a while. He said no one really wanted him. It was because of like the white patches. I thought it was sick. And they didn't like the dark eyes. And it was just like that wasn't like they didn't, they didn't want it. No one wanted this fucking beardy. Those people are absolute brain dead because this thing is fucking incredible. Pet store really knew what they had either because they gave me a hell of a price. <laughs> if this, I think if this thing was listed at market value, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But I, I think it, I think all in all, I got it for like a hundred dollars. So I was like, okay, there, I, I have to eat a hundred dollars for something like this. Screw it, pack them up. Yeah, yeah. So I got, I ended up getting them. The way I see it is the fact, you know, like I literally have every supply you'll I'll need for a beer dragon. I mean, I got the smaller Exoterra, T5 UVB, and the T8, and then also the T5 um, heat bulbs, and I have another Exoterra, and then of course, if you oh, look right there, I got the Zen Habitat 4x2x2, by two by two, and then the 6x2x2 by two by two when it is a when he is a full adult. I did figure out it's a male. Boys and girls, let's with all that a dude, let's get him out. Now I have named this animal Jolly Roger. The reason behind that is, is with these paradigms, which is, I found out that's the new morph. It's a KC paradigms, I believe is the official one. KC, I, I don't know Beard Dragon people, I don't know. But KC uh, made this line bread thing, which is a paradigm, I, as far as I understand it. Jolly Roger, because after talking to one of my buddies that does breed Bearded Dragon, she showed me her adult, and it turns out their beards always stay black. And so I'm like, black beard, pirate theme, Jolly Roger. Mr. Rogers for short, Raj Mahaj, if you're close to him. We are not close, you'll understand why. Thing went from a scared little dude to quite the feisty baby bearded dragon, which as far as pet stores go, it's not food. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I 
Hang on, buddy, hang on. This is the fastest potato in the West, my God. As you can see, like what I was talking about, so obviously a genetic stripe, but then we have these little pieces over here. It's really prevalent in his beard and chest area, these white patches. This is what I thought, oh, this animal has to be pied. Oh my God, he's very upset with me. <laughs> just has to be pied. Well, apparently it's just incomplete translucence from what I've been told. It's just not like the full process. That's what makes these like little patches everywhere on them. Far as I've been told. <laughs> Have not habituated yet. He's great at hand feeding and tongue feeding. That's kind of what I, I wanted to beef him up and get him fed and make sure he's accustomed to all that before trying to like tame him down. So he's a little terror right now, but he will he will turn into a little bearded dragon so, shoulder pet. Here we go. Let's do Wiccans Wiccans. Wiccans Wicked Reptiles. My name's Dakota. This is Jolly Roger, and you're watching Disney Channel. Doesn't have the same ring to it. Kind of cute, man. Oh, we're in the lizard when he pancakes. Oh my God. Oh yeah, maybe we put him up. <clears throat> Moving on. And already, new day, new shirt. Now, since this is a special day, obviously this is the day where our little Jolly Roger gets shown into the entire world wide web, let's say we give him a special treat and do some super worm feedings for him. Enjoy these things, you go crazy for him. While he's not the most handleable lizard right now, he's still kind of fearful of me. Uh, when it comes to when I have food, right in the palm of my hand, that's where you get him, it's food, much like myself. We got it, boys and girls, a brand new bearded dragon added to the collection. It's time as a pet, for now. Who knows what will happen in the future. Love this little dude, how interactive he is, how like aware and moving around. It's the personality and the spiciness that this guy has. It makes me, makes me wonder why I used to shit on bearded dragons like a lot back then in the day on the YouTube videos. Now that I got this little guy, I, I, I'm just thinking to myself, why did I do that? All right, boys and girls, my opinions will always stay true to ball pythons and leopard geckos, but bearded dragons no longer cringe. Bearded dragons are the base reptile to have. As long as you do your proper research and understand what you're getting into, maybe by checking out one of the many care guides we have on bearded dragons. And while today was a very sad video, publicly saying goodbye to the first reptile I have ever owned, see Jolly Roger, Mr. Roger, Raj the Dodge. It's hard to make, maybe I won't name it. Decide his name is actually going to be. We got we got little new bearded dragons, really ignited my uh, my actual likeness for bearded dragons. So don't expect me to shit on them anymore because I, I actually do really enjoy them now. This will not just only be cemented in a special place in my heart as my first reptile, but he will also be cemented forever on YouTube as the first reptile that I ever made a video about. Commemorate that, here it is. It's very bad, but it's a special occasion, so here's the first video I ever made with Rex the Pierter Dragon, and then here is a playlist of well, this all the stuff building behind me. Thank you guys so much for taking the time here today to follow us over here at Dakota Blue Exotics. I will see you guys next time, but until then, goodbye.